Do you want to downgrade your iPad 2, your iPhone 4S, etc.? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that with Red Snow. As you see, I am running iOS 5.1.1 that is currently a non-jailbreakable firmware. I'm going to downgrade to iOS 5.0.1 on this iPad 2 so that I can jailbreak. First, put your device in a DFU mode as I'm doing here. Just hold home and power for 10 seconds. Release the power, continue to hold home and then it'll go into DFU mode. So you should just see this black screen just like this. That is what you want before you proceed. Otherwise, you could run into some issues where you'll fail on the downgrade process, et cetera. I just highly recommend that you go into DFU mode first and foremost before starting this. Now, once you do that, go ahead and open up Red Snow 0.911 B1. You should see where it's connected to your device. Click on Extras, go to Even More, and then click on Restore. Now you should see an IPSW button. Click that IPSW button and locate your firmware. Now you will need the firmware for your iPad or your iPhone 4S or whatnot. You will need the iOS 5.0.1 firmware, of course, and you will need the 5.1.1 firmware. So select the 5.0.1 firmware first, and then it's going to say Additional IPSW Required. That's fine. Now you want to find the latest iOS 5.1.1 firmware. So just click OK there, okay? And then locate the 5.1.1. So before you start this, just go ahead and download these firmwares. I recommend that you do that, um, and then you should be good to go. So click Open, and then you should see the build message for the firmware that you want to downgrade to. In this case, 5.0.1, I want to downgrade to that. Then for your SHSH blobs, you can either select them locally, or if you have them on Cydia, select Remote. You will need your SHSH blobs in order to downgrade, so just make sure you have those either locally on your system or on Cydia. Once you click remote, it'll go through and start working and start downgrading your iPad. It'll stitch your blobs. It'll restore to a hacked iOS 5.1.1 version, as you'll see here in just a second. And then it'll allow you to downgrade. It'll automatically downgrade to the iOS 5.0.1. So it's really easy. As you can see here, it's restoring to the hacked iPad to the 5.1.1 firmware there, as you see. So it just goes through this process. It's super simple, super easy. Um, there's really not much to worry about here. I'd say you have a, a very good chance of successfully downgrading your device if you have, of course, your iOS 5.0.1 firmware, your iOS 5.1.1 firmware already saved to your computer, and you have your SHSH blobs either saved on Cydia or on your local computer as well. So once you have that, it's just going to go through this process here. And this takes a little time to finish, so don't, don't sweat it too much. Just be patient. You can see my iPad there in the upper left-hand corner. It's going through the process. You have a little loading bar going across the screen. It's going to do this twice, actually. It's going to do it first, like I was saying, for the latest firmware, the iOS 5.1.1 firmware. And then eventually, it's going to go ahead and downgrade to the to that iOS 5.0.1 firmware. And why do we want to downgrade? Well, the reason you want to downgrade is because the iOS 5.0.1 firmware is jailbreakable. You can actually use Red Snow to jailbreak your iPad 2, your iPhone 4S, you know, all those A5 devices like that. So this is very exciting um, for those of you who may have accidentally upgraded your device when you know you shouldn't have but it was an accident, maybe you upgraded your device and you can no longer jailbreak. Now you can restore back to the jailbreakable firmware, which is really exciting. Okay, so check-in file systems. And like I said, this takes at least, uh, let's say five to seven minutes to finish, just to estimate. So if you've made it this far, you're good. If you haven't got any error messages, it says you can't restore or anything like that, then you're good. I think you're home, you're home free. If you're at if you're at this point, you're you're good to go. The problem I found happens if you don't have your device in the DFU mode from the get go. That's that's when you, I ran into some issues where it gave me some error messages. So that's why it's important is just to go ahead and throw your device in the DFU mode before even starting. That just kind of eliminates a lot of potential issues. Okay, so now you can see it's restoring the iPad 2 to the 5.0.1 firmware, and that's what we want because that is, of course, the jailbreakable firmware that allows us to jailbreak, and that, that's pretty awesome. And I figure, you know, a lot of times I like to speed up my videos and make them, you know, just, just 
run through it, but I figure I want to show you guys the entire process so you see exactly what is happening every step of the way. That way you can kind of follow along and troubleshoot if you have if you're having any problems. You can see exactly where your where your device may have failed during the restore, etc. So this is not sped up at all. This is the full shebang, and therefore I apologize to those of you who are used to my quick, you know, just run through the videos real quick like that. But I figured I wanted to show you this because this is a relatively new process. This is a lot of new code in the latest version of Red Snow 0.911B1. So it's just a whole new ball game, folks. And that's why I felt like you guys needed to see the entire process. So now it's restoring the system image almost complete there. We are almost done, folks. We are almost back on iOS 5.0.1. It's verifying the restore now. I have a good feeling about this. What about you? What about you? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Are you excited about this? I would imagine you would be, especially for those of you who accidentally upgraded to iOS 5.1 or 5.1.1. This works with either one. All right, so checking the file systems. It's going to clean up some things here. All right, let's see what we have. Checking file systems, mounting, fixing up VAR, flashing NOR. We are almost there. We are almost there. Okay. Creating system key. Okay, restore successful. Your device was successfully downgraded. That is a beautiful message. If the firmware is compatible with the Corona A5 jailbreak, you should be able to jailbreak it from the first page of Red Snow. Folks, that is it. We are downgraded. And as you can see, my iPad is kind of going through the motions right there. Um, it's going to come up to the iPad screen where you can set up your iPad for the first time. And the same thing works with the iPhone 4S as well. So if you have an iPhone 4S, same exact, same exact process. Now you can see right now I'm on iOS 5.0.1. Folks, that is how you downgrade with the red snow. Hope this was able to help you out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.